Welcome Scorpio friends. I'm going to do your heart spread now. It's the end of September time frame. Generally speaking or whenever you watch it. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Keep that in mind. Um, if I do, especially if I do call out signs too. Or, or planets or something. Keep in mind Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. is going to be what's important in heart spread if reading. If you haven't checked me out the, on the Soul Family Read, please do. It's not that long either. Um, it's a collective read, whoever resonates. So let me know. If you resonate with that one, then uh, check it out. It's a little more uh, spirituality, manifestation based than the heart spread. It's a little uh, less emphasis on love and romance and more on. Uh, manifestation often of love and romance you know it's kind of can't get away from it but it's all connected as so, uh, Floyd said you know the most important thing is love and work as simple as that you put your life together in love and in work um, there you go I like the simple part <laughs> sounds simple right just get your life together in love and work and you're all good that's all I can do. Okay, Freud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. End of September time frame here. Bottom of the deck, which I am reading now, is the Knight of Pentacles. And I get determination. There's some determination involved here. Scorpio can be determined. Fixed uh, motion. So, a uh, page of cups, that could be you, particularly if you're a young Scorpio. But this is your energy in and around relationships, you know, where I like to look at. A little bit detached from who you're thinking of. It's reading mainly to read who's on your mind, who's in your heart. And, you know, here you're looking into the reading with your cup, your page of cups. But, you know, it may not speak to a younger person. Uh, it may speak to someone, I try to detach this again from your person. You're on a dating site. Maybe you're you're just feeling emotionally like you're really ready to give your cup. Um, so I would see someone that in general was in a pretty good place. Um, also with the page of cups here, it's kind of that feeling to me of going into a relationship in a way that's emotionally available. Uh, but like even though it's a page, I still get pages are sincere. So it's like a good way. It's like whatever relationship this is, however you're approaching it, you know, um, you're not overdoing it. You're not giving yourself away. You're not losing yourself in any way. It's like this kind of very kind of measured, appropriate, you know, reminds me of Venus and Scorpio. I'm Venus and Scorpio. It's like we got to kind of probe to see if it's because, you know, love is danger, danger, danger. So you got to probe first, you know, to even before you begin to really give your emotions. And I see that, it's like maybe you did the probing and now you're kind of ready to sort of be like, hey, what's up? Um, I kind of want to go out with you. Now <laughs> look at this, man. Ace of Swords, the Ace of Swords, Ace is another level here. So your person, you'd be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, but now remember this, I try to detach this from you particularly, but when you're coming in with this energy you're both coming with the energy of like I'm ready. This is them coming in fast and saying, giving boundaries, making statements like, you know, okay, like, like, could be like, I would say inappropriately, possibly, very directly anyway, um, like your first or second date, and they're like, well, you know, I don't never want kids, you know, are you good with that? Or <laughs> kind of could be that energy. And I think like with uh, their energy, Scorpio too, with the Ace of Swords, um, they could be kind of triggery uh, because they felt like in the past they really kind of got stabbed in the back. And so they're kind of wa all kind of watching out and ready to set boundaries. And this could be a little contentious. I gotta be honest with you, I hate this stuff anymore. It's like, I'm just too old for it. But this is like, well, what did you mean by that? And well, why did you leave your second wife? What was the problem? It's like, what is this, like an essay? <laughs> you know, it's like, I'm just like, I want to, I'm a page of cups here. Let's go have some drinks and watch the sunset. <laughs> right? 
So let's see where it's going with this person that's in your heart. God damn, man. <laughs> You're all in. I mean, the Ace of Pentacles here. Because this now is showing how do you feel about them. How are you reacting to them with your Page of Cups? It's like the Page of Cups is like, you know, yeah, let's go out and have some feelings. I'm catching feelings for you. And now as you begin to interact with them, I believe the Ace of Cups, again, like the Ace of Swords, is at another level. It's kind of, the again, the perfect energy I feel to have because it's best the Ace of Pentacles, very grounded. This is like you really checking it out. What do they do for a living? What is their family like? What are they like? What is their health like? What is their mentality like? What is it? And kind of going like, wow, I'm all in. I think I'm all in to you. We're ready to start something. I'm not going to do the bottom. We got that nine pentacles there. Like there's determination here. Okay. Well, I like this. Eight of pentacles. They responded with your ace of pentacles with eight of pentacles energy. Huh. I feel like this person, like you kind of uh, really threw them for a loop because they came in with a chip on their shoulder and they probably went at you a little bit. And I think Scorpio, you guys uh, tend to see everything, like mostly you, you, you read the room, read people, and you probably just handled it like perfect. I got some Libra in your chart, right? Guessing uh, Mercury, Mars, Venus, and... Um, you just kind of handled it perfectly because you like this person. You, you're really into them. And whatever you did, this gesture that you made, that was very substantial. I don't mean like you gave them something. It's like you gave them a feeling that you're a serious person. And you're not mucking around. And um, whatever issues they had in the past, may have put it in their heads like this is not that. This is now you, this Scorpio now. Because when they react to you, it's like they're willing to work for you. I mean, they must feel at some level that they have to kind of work. And I got to feel it. They got that off of you. Uh, this could also be speaking, wh whether there's page here or not, um, that someone's operating on a pretty high level. Because I see going from the Ace of Swords to the Eight of Pentacles, Cross Watcher, tell me if you're there. But... Uh, Scorpios that this person really got it they got something like you really opened up to them sincerely about your emotions and you were vulnerable I think and very sincere and then you followed it up by listening to them probably talk about how betrayed they were and all these things um, and I think like I really like the eight of pentacles because it's like that's a response to your ace of pentacles and I think they kind of realized, like, they kind of got some catching up to do, you know, but I don't see that as being bad. Five of Swords, this is your advice from Spirit. Let me see what their advice is before I say anything. Four of Cups, this is their advice from Spirit. So let's be clear, uh, the Five of Swords is your advice from Spirit in dealing with this person. Your person's advice from spirit in dealing with you is the Four of Cups. Clearly, there's something you need to get into with them, with this Five of Swords, the High Priestess. Interesting. So you have an intuition about it. it like, and I, this is, okay, so this is really important. This is in a position of uh, what spirit wants to advise you in terms of interacting with this relationship. And this is 100% trust your intuition and be prepared to essentially defend yourself. Um, so this is, the Five of Swords is never energy you want in a relationship. So the fact that it's advice, my opinion, the fact that it's advice from spirit here, that means that there's something really needs to be set straight. It doesn't mean a relationship's over at this point. It means that something's got to be set straight. and. Uh, and Scorpio, you're going to have to get all out of that uh, Libra energy and go full Scorpio on them here in some fashion. And, you know, would this be an under the Eight of Pentacles? It's like um, they need to give up. I mean, I think this is pretty straightforward. They come in with this Ace of Swords chip on their shoulder. They had to cut somebody off, probably did them wrong. Um, and it's like they got to emotionally let go of that energy and they need to work on this 
And it's like you're kind of encouraging them working on it. And I mean, it could simply be encouraging them working on it energetically, like nothing even thought, just the fact that they see you being grounded in stuff. Um, but I think that your admonition, I'm going to call it coming with this five of swords, is going to come from them making an attempt to deal with this. And they're probably having some kind of communication with this ex, um, this kind of thing. Um, but if they want to go forward with this relationship, they're being told to kind of let go of those emotional attachments. Yeah. Complex heart spread today. Determination. Never forget. Never forget the Knight of Pentacles. Because you might take so long and be like, hmm, I forgot all about that. Knight of Pentacles was coming. And then uh, finally he gets you. <laughs> now this is the outcome. I mean, the um, in the advice position for the relationship as a whole. And the star card. I mean, there is absolutely no way to read the star card in this position as not some kind of cheerleading and promise that this relationship actually holds your hopes and dreams and wishes, you know? Um, and maybe I see here this want willingness to work on it. You know, you're willing to get out of your comfort zone. And I think this is what Spirit's advising you, Scorpio. And then again, a very mature way, um, possibly as you deflected their early um, uh, projections upon you, effectively apparently and cause them to want to work on themselves um, but in that working they um, they may have crossed some boundary or something at least in your mind if you're being a Scorpio it's like it's not hard right <laughs> mm -hmm. so let's see what the outcome is wow the wheel of fortune the immediately what I thought is like um, Person A gets another job in another city, resolves the conflict with the children. Um, person B remarries. This is a, a wheel of fortune here is the outcome. It's 100% going in your favor. And my God, you have the wheel of fortune over the star card. Now, and the outcome is the wheel of fortune, uh, which, as they say, usually turns in your favor absolutely love this because there's like a marriage here with a twist you know um, and i kind of see maybe uh, one or both of you are not really appreciating the true value of this relationship and what this star and wheel of fortune is is something comes in um, that just sort of makes one or both of you kind of realize what you have here and it could involve um, just something really working out in someone's favor too. Um, maybe they get relocated, get a job in twice as much money. Um, something significant changes and it has to do with this being really, this to me too is like divine timing, being divinely protected as a relationship because it's a relationship as a whole. And so definitely just trust in that. And also with this Four of Cups, it shows me too that this person probably has a tendency to run away uh, from their feelings and run away with dealing with difficult uh, emotional situations. And that's bringing out your five of swords. I mean, Scorpio is nothing but emotional. You know, originally here, you, you, know, or, you know, you got the high priestess uh, clarifying that five of swords. Um, so it's probably what they're doing like with you. But again, it's like carrying that pattern over to this relationship and you could just call them out on it. But remember, where it's going here um you know just because there's a soulmate doesn't mean it's going to be like like butter <laughs> sometimes it's like uh margarine <laughs> but thank you guys uh, like and yeah, please do subscribe i appreciate it